Greetings, everyone. This is BJ Black from No Export for You, and welcome to part 87 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We've got Fia and Rosalina to talk to, so let's see Fia. <laughs> Very well, Avaro. It's okay, so tell this goddess everything. All of a sudden I get the feeling I don't want to talk to you anymore. But whatever. Jeez, Avaro. Apparently he came to Theo with a concern that he had. And this is how he she responds. So since Kataruto has gotten the ability to transform while out on missions, she and he have met up and met eyes, and then she goes and takes her distance from him. I've always thinking that maybe this transformed version of Katarito hates him. So that thing I did last part in the root map about coming on over to Katarito with Avaro while she's transformed into her grown-up form leads to this cutscene. I had no idea. <sighs> So, Fia thinks that this is just like Avaro always does things. So apparently he was still talking and she says this and lets out a sigh. Hey, at the very least, could you at least listen to the whole story? Avaro's over here worried. Or something. Okay, Sophia here has got everything figured out. She has seen through all the pretenses. And after all, he, she can do these things when it's Avaro. Eh, what do you mean by that? So, basically, Katorito, before growing as a dragon, has grown as a person. You know, it's pretty unusual for Fia to be explaining things to Alvaro. Okay, so anyway, he understands the growing as a person thing. But what of it? Hurry up and explain. The way he and Katorito are all awkward in the dungeon, this shit is bothering him. <laughs> So, doesn't Avaro get it? Only her body became a human adolescent form. And her first memory upon getting this new form, her first consciousness, was of this man holding her so tightly. Well, that couldn't be helped, you know. She turned into a dragon and then it wore off and she was falling. We didn't want her to get hurt, so he ran out and caught her. Oh god, the way she says this is so over dramatic. But anyway, she understands that as well. Avaro, in order to save her, ran out so desperately and caught her. Avaro gets the impression that you're including some weird expression in the way you're describing this. He thinks maybe he is teasing her, him. Yeah, but only that simple. 
初めて男性を意識したらその人に抱きしめられたあーもうもらえちゃうよね So, in addition to the changes in her body, and she's become aware of herself as a woman, and this first man she became conscious of was holding her tight at that moment. She's just so conflicted, you see. So inside her, she is all a tumult of emotions and things. While she's a bit, little bit lost as to how her transformation should be working, she is also excited with anticipation of what comes next. What comes next, huh? Okay, if you understand, then calm down, goddess. Okay, so Avaro still doesn't get it and asks, What should I do then? Well, that's obvious. Since Katorito has finally forged this connection with him, you gotta do it. What? Do what? Katorito chan wo. So, Avaro needs to make Katorito a proper adult. Okay, now Avaro gets it. So, he gets it. You don't need to give that shit eating grin and point at him like that. Okay, so we'll stop the jokes here. Even though it isn't a joke. Which one is it? So, Fia herself is actually a little bit anxious about it. Gee, and I thought she only got jealous about Risha and Sebi. But, she thinks that Avaru and Katorito should connect their hearts more and she'd be happy. And anyway, Katorito wants to become an adult, so if you're a man, do your job. Don't dilly dally around. Huh. Okay, Avaro gets it, so quit trying to push this on him. And anyway, it's the people involved in the their will to do it, that should be the deciding factor. So anyway, she thinks that much, at least we'll be okay. Anyway, if a borrower does it the way he wants to do it, that'll be fine. You're saying that in a rather crude way, goddess. Well, that's a bit of a pun, actually. To do it the way that he wants to do it, when said in this way, means literally having sex in the way that he wants to have sex. It's a bit of an ambiguous phrase. But yes, it is a crude way of saying it. So, it's his imagination. And do your best. So she seems to be looking forward to this and she leaves. Oh boy. Well, it's Katarito, so I don't mind, but she is so pushy sometimes. Oh, yes, this is Rosaline's scene. So, this is one of our lunch breaks. She and Rosaline have gotten some sweet treats from. A well, some shop in the castle somewhere. So they were pretty tasty. Yep, they were. 
Yes, but we had just eaten lunch before. So, is Phil all right? Is Phil's stomach all right? Having eaten that much? It'll be all right. She has another stomach for sweet things. No matter how much she eats, she can handle it. <laughs> so, really, in that case, that's all right. But you still shouldn't eat too much. <laughs> so, Rosaline is so considerate. So, yeah, she'll take care. So, if she finds another new shop, she'll invite Rosalina along again. Yay, let's go do our afternoon work. Whoosh. So, she runs away with her usual smiling thing, full of energy and all. So, Rosaline gives a parting words to Fia as she's already left. She would like to see Fia at other times than meal times, though. Hmm, well. So, after Fia has gone her way, Rosalina slumps a little bit and gives a small sigh. Sorry about it being so noisy every day, Rosaline. So, why is Avaro apologizing? Well, it seems like Rosaline would prefer a more calm environment, he thinks. Since she came to the castle, Every day she's been dealing with people, well, not always as bad as Fia, but they're all a lot more noisy than she is. And her days as a spirit mage for the introduced kingdom were considerably different, so she may be a bit hesitant in adapting here. <laughs> Ah, she, she sees what Avar was getting at. He was being considerate of her feelings here, and she's thankful. But it can't be helped, really. Everybody looking at her thinks that she's about the same age, so it's natural that they'd want to invite her places. She's easy to invite. Well, but at the times when you're tired, you don't need to accept. You can refuse and take some time to yourself. It's all right. If she really doesn't want to do it, she'll say so. And even like this, she's quite gra grateful for it. Although her expressions are rather shallow, and she doesn't properly convey to other people that when she's having fun, people still invite her out to places like that. So the corners of her mouth turn up slightly. It says this like three times in this cutscene. It's crazy. So although it's a mild expression, In any case, Avaro once said it to her. The castle is noisy, but it's a warm place, wasn't it? Well, if you think so as well, that's good. Avaro was a bit worried that this was getting to you. 
So, did it really seem like she was that tired? Well, yeah. It made Avaro think maybe she's got some worries on her mind. So while she was in that cold death state where her body didn't age, she was take well, she was taken away from this that cold death state and brought to the castle all of a sudden. So we do want her to enjoy herself. <laughs> Rosaline says that Avaro is quite kind. So, being here with people who are brightly enjoying themselves, she's thought back on herself. And just a little, she's not liking how she is. So, thinking back, you don't like yourself? Well, she's been thinking about herself uh, being in this form and being unable to make these commotions with the goddess and the others like they are always doing. Isn't it strange? Having such a young appearance but being unable to do childish things. Again with the slight raise in the corners of her mouth. But this time it's a bit of a wry, bitter smile. Well, in any case, Rosaline isn't a child anymore. You don't need to try and make these commotions just to make your actions fit everyone else's expectations of your appearance. Well, yes, she thinks so too. But the people who come to her are still expecting her actions to match up with her appearance in some fashion. Really? So... The person they're expecting, huh? In Rosaline's case here, it's her age and appearance being so different is the problem. She understands that it's kind of pointless to compare herself with her surroundings, but she can't help but do the comparison anyway. The castle itself is changing every day. As a city, as a place where people live, day by day it continues to grow. But, since leaving the tower, she has only been able to be surprised at the changes and hasn't changed herself. Well, setting aside the her appearance that has not been able to change, as far as age goes, she is actually spiritually, well, old. So her body and her spirit are kind of not meshing well. And interacting with people who treat her like this really gives her that feeling quite unpleasantly. Well, 
So being brought into these series of thoughts, trains of thought, she's thinking it would have been easier to stay in the ca stay in the tower. She's thought that many times. Since she doesn't take changes and she can't smile like other people expect her to, she has been thinking that her value here is quite light. That's a pretty lonely train of thought to go down. <laughs> well, she says she's sorry. Listen, giving her, the, giving him these old woman's complaints. It's not like he has to listen. Well, that she's willing to share her complaints with Avaro makes him glad, a bit glad actually. Well, these are conversations and complaints that she hasn't been sharing with others. Meaning that she trusts him that much more than, say, Fia. But Rosalina, Avaro wants you to not say that you would rather your curse not have been lifted. Well, she didn't say that exactly. And yes, of course, she won't. <laughs> she did, after all, swear that she would live with all she would live with all her power. And she still thinks that. Well, Rosaline in saying this shows one of those powerful bright looks in her eyes. Well, this is quite a change from your life up to now, so it's natural for you to be surprised and a bit lost. But rather than Rosalina being confused about her value here, think of it as something that isn't decided simply by yourself. So you don't determine your value by yourself? Well, when you're with someone else, if they're enjoying themselves and they laugh and things, that in itself is valuable. And of our two, is that having that much more fun since Rosaline has come to the castle. At the very least, if you could take Avaro's words here as a value in yourself, he'd like that. So, Rosaline is... Rosaline's value is decided by Avaro? Is that what he's saying? Well, not only Avaro. She and everybody else when they're with Rosalina also enjoys themselves and for that reason continue to invite them continue to invite her places even if you yourself don't smile that much if you're enjoying yourself the way you enjoy yourself that it is plenty good Well, that's true. When other one, other people are with Rosaline, it doesn't seem like they're being insincere in the smiles they give. And via herself, after a bit of a trial period in getting to know her, has come to look at Rosaline as Rosaline. So it appears she's thought of something, been reminded of something, and 
the lostness that she had is cleared up a bit. <laughs> so, thanks. Her master is so very kind to her. Yeah, enough with the your master nonsense. It makes his skin crawl. But he's glad for having this conversation. If it could lighten Rosaline's heart at least a little bit. <laughs> oh, isn't Avaro a bad boy? He truly does seduce women as easily as he draws breath. Okay, no, I disagree. He's actually bad with women. Huh. But anyway, stop teasing him. He's trying to say that he is worried about you here. Again, the corners of her mouth raise slightly. So, at least this is going well. So, Rosaline's feeling better and Navarro's feeling better too. How nice. I mentioned this in the last part. I got that Earth Dragon to drop an Earth Dragon Claw and I can make this hammer for Avaro. Boy oh boy. Yes. And if I get two more Earth Dragon Claws, I can upgrade that hammer to this hammer. Hmm, well, maybe I'll take... And yeah, maybe I'll eventually get two more Dragon Claws. That would be nice, I guess. Yes. Oh, I like having a lot of those. I would like to have some seven color mushrooms though, so I could make this as well. An extra large healing potion. It's like 500 HP and I will never use it, but hey, it's there. Yes. Doesn't that make you want to build it? So that's the events for today. And next time we'll be taking the second trial. Oh man. I'm betting this will be more combat oriented than the last one. All that one had was like five or six enemies. Maybe just four or five. Yeah, there were five. Plus the respawning dude. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.